Imagine an industrial site, either a manufacturing plant or a fulfillment warehouse. Typically, such a site has hundreds of equipment that drive complex processes. When these equipment fail, it is a nightmare. You have to firefight and fix them on priority. At the same time, you incur significant costs from unplanned downtime. This is a fairly common and costly affair in the industrial world. 82% of the companies have experienced sudden breakdowns in the past three years, resulting in anywhere between 5 and 20% reduction of production capacity and annual cost of $50 billion. Imagine if you had a technology solution that allows you to detect abnormal conditions in your machinery, enabling you to implement predictive maintenance, take proactive actions, and reduce unplanned downtime. I'm here to share with you about that. I'm Karthik Dalal, Senior Product Manager at AWS, and together with Magnus Akesson, CIO and VP of GE Gas Power, we are here to share with you how you can enable predictive maintenance for your industrial equipment. There are multiple challenges of implementing predictive maintenance solutions. First, they require you to install expensive sensors. By some estimates, there are 60 million industrial machines in the world, and nearly 90% of them either don't have sensors or are not connected for analysis. This means there's a good chance that in order to start predictive maintenance, you have to retrofit sensors. And most sensors, most conventional sensors out there are expensive and require you to invest in complex cabling. Once you install the sensors, you need to build the infrastructure to capture and securely transfer the data. In a world of increasing connectivity, security is top of mind for most industrial customers. This means as you build this infrastructure, you have to make sure that your plant operation and processes are protected from security vulnerabilities. Collecting and storing sensor data is just the beginning. You also need to analyze this data to detect potential failures. To do this accurately, you need to apply machine learning, which in turn means you need to invest in the scarce machine learning talent. And finally, you need to build the tools to let your reliability managers and technicians inform about or know about the potential failures. As these technicians investigate the issues, you need to equip them with tools to track them, to look at historical sensor data, and to take actions based on them. All these challenges mean it takes months to implement a predictive maintenance solution. And even to do a pilot, you incur hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on the scale. This puts predictive maintenance out of the reach of many customers. Imagine if you could, instead of taking months to pilot, you could start monitoring your equipment in a matter of few minutes. Introducing you to Amazon Monitron, an end-to-end -end system for equipment monitoring, a new service that reimagines how you can enable predictive maintenance for your industrial equipment. Amazon Monitron is an out-of-the-box system that enables, allows you to enable predictive maintenance in an easy, quick, and cost-effective way. It includes everything you need to start monitoring your equipment. It has sensors that are purpose-built to capture vibration and temperature patterns of the equipment. Vibration and temperature are good indicators of the health of the equipment. These sensors are built to optimize for simplicity and cost. Next, it includes a, a fully managed gateway that securely and automatically transfers the sensor data to the cloud. In the cloud, we have the Monitron service that analyzes the sensor data using vibration ISO standards and machine learning. Finally, we have the Monitron app that can be used to set up the sensors and gateways and to receive notifications on abnormal machine conditions. Each component and its interaction with the system is optimized efficiency-wise to deliver the best value to you. For example, to optimize the sensor battery life and internet bandwidth, we process the raw sensor data on the sensor itself and only send relevant features to the cloud for analysis. We also offer these devices in a starter pack, so that you, which includes five sensors and a gateway so that you can get started in an easy and cost-effective way. The mobile app 
is intuitive, so reliability managers and technicians can use it easily to start monitoring the machines. Amazon Monitron has multiple benefits. First and foremost, it detects potential failures in industrial equipment, allowing you to take proactive actions and reduce unplanned downtime. Second, it is quick to install. In a matter of few minutes, reliability managers can install the sensors and gateways using the Monitron app and start monitoring their machines. Amazon Monitron automatically analyzes the sensor data using machine learning and, 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 and detects potential failures. No machine learning knowledge or development work is required to use Amazon Monitron. Amazon Monitron offers a cost-effective way to start monitoring your machines. The cost of using Amazon Monitron sensors is a fraction of the cost of using conventional sensors. The Monitron service is pay as you go, so you only pay for the period of time you use the service. There are no long-term commitments or licensing fees. Amazon Monitron provides end-to-end -end encryption for all data at rest and in transit. The devices, the service, and the communication between them is secure. When a new device comes online, we check for its authenticity. This means no malicious device can register and access the service. Finally, Amazon Monitron offers continuous improvements. With just, a tap, with just a few taps in the Amazon Monitron app, technicians can add feedback on the alerts received. Monitron continuously improves by learning based on this feedback. Separately, Amazon Monitron sensors and gateways can be remotely updated using the over-the-air upgrades. This means even for the sensors that, that you've already installed, you can benefit from continuously improving capabilities over the life of the devices. Let us look at some of the key features of Amazon Monitron. First, it, it offers a fully managed low-cost sensors and Wi-Fi enabled gateways. The wireless nature of these sensors and the gateways means you, you don't have to invest in complex cabling in order to start monitoring your equipment. The sensors and the gateways are pre-configured to use with the Monitron service. You do not have to write a single line of code. Reliability managers can use these sensors and gateways out of the box to start monitoring their equipment. Second, Monitron includes advanced analytics, which is a combination of machine learning and ISO 2816 standards-based analytics. We've taken years of our experience of maintaining machines in our warehouses and put that knowledge into this analytics. Third, Monitron sends timely notifications in the app when it detects an abnormal machine condition. Reliability managers and technicians can use these to investigate the issue and take proactive actions. Finally, with just a few taps in the mobile app, technicians can add feedback on the alerts received. Monitron continuously improves the underlying machine learning model performance based on this feedback. By offering this ML feedback loop in the app, we are taking the power of machine learning and putting it in the hands of the end users, which is reliability managers and technicians. You can use Monitron to monitor a variety of equipment. Motors, gearboxes, pumps, bearings, compressors, and fans. These equipment are critical cogs driving complex processes in, in a variety of manufacturing and industrial sites. By allowing you to monitor and enable predictive maintenance for this, for this equipment, we are, we are equipping, equipping you to drive down the unplanned downtime. Now that we have looked at the service overview, let us look at a short demo on how to set up and use Amazon Monitron. Let's say you are a food and beverage company and you decide to monitor a pump at your Dallas site. To get started, you order the Amazon Monitron sensors and gateways on amazon.com. Let's assume you received these devices. Next, you want to set them up in order to monitor your equipment. You go to the AWS console and search for Amazon Monitron. and launch the service. You start by creating a project. A project is where you register sites and assets that you want to monitor. You enter a name for your project. 
typically you want to enter your company name here let's say company xyz next you want to add an administrator to this project this could be the reliability manager at your dallas site let's call her jane doe you can create jane as a user Next, you add Jane to the project. As you saw, the project was successfully created and Jane was added as a user. Next, you invite Jane to the access this project by sending her email instructions. Let's say you already did that. Once you do this, Jane can use the Monitron app to start monitoring the pump. Let's go into the app to see how she would do that. Let's assume that following the instructions in the invitation email, Jane installs the Monitor and Android app and logs into it. Once inside the app, Jane can set up the Monitor sensors and gateways and start monitoring the pump. She starts off by installing a gateway. To do so, she navigates to the menu and to the gateway section and adds a gateway. While doing so, she, she makes sure that the Bluetooth of her phone is turned on and she presses a commissioning button on the side of the gateway. The app looks for available gateways in the vicinity. Jane selects the gateway. Now the app looks for available Wi-Fi networks at the site. Jane selects a suitable and secure wireless network at the Dallas site and onboards the gateway on that site. This, the installation process of the gateway is very similar to how you would install a smart home assistant such as an Echo device at home. The function of the gateway is to automatically and securely transfer the sensor data to the cloud. It does so by communicating with the sensor over Bluetooth low energy and with the cloud using Wi-Fi internet. A few moments later, the gateway is connected to the monitor service in the cloud. Now that the gateway is connected, Jane can register the pump and pair sensors to it. To do so, she goes to the asset page. Here she adds a new asset. She calls this asset pump and identifies the ISO 2816 class of the asset. Now that the asset has been added, Jane can pair sensors to one or more positions on this asset. To do so, she clicks pair sensor and identifies a name for the position. Let's say she wants to pair the, pair the sensor to the motor of the pump. Next, Jane brings the smartphone close to the sensor. Amazon Monitron uses near-field communication technology to seamlessly register the sensor in the cloud. In a few seconds, the sensor is paired to the position and goes online. Jane can now physically mount the sensor to the motor of the pump using the suggested adhesive. Once done, the sensor starts capturing vibration and temperature data and Monitron will start monitoring the pump. The first set of data on temperature and vibration already trickled in. As you saw, all these steps were simple and quick and Jane was able to start monitoring her equipment in minutes. Jane did not have to write even a single line of code to start monitoring the pump. Once the sensor is installed, Amazon Monitor trains a machine learning model by baselining the vibration and temperature patterns of the equipment. It sends an alert when it detects an anomaly based on this model. These alerts are sent as push notifications and can be viewed in the bell on the top right corner. As you see, three alerts were received in the month of November. When an alert is received, Jane can conduct physical investigations of the equipment and fix the issue. In doing so, Jane can either click on the alert or navigate to the position under consideration to look for historical sensor measurements and draw insights. Once the issue is fixed, Jane can resolve the issue in the Monitron app by clicking on the Resolve button. Jane can also provide feedback at the same time by providing the closure codes, which are failure mode, failure cause, and the actions taken. If no issue was found in the equipment, Jane can also indicate that in the app. 
When Jane does that, Monitron treats it as a false alarm label for the machine learning model and retrains the model based on that. As you see, Jane was able to leverage the power of machine learning and monitor the pump. She required no machine learning knowledge or expertise and did not have to do any development work in doing so. Through this demo, we saw how you can set up and use Amazon Monitron to monitor your equipment. Now, let me invite Magnus Akison, the CIO and VP of GE Gas Power, to share how they are using Amazon Monitron to monitor critical equipment in their plants. Thank you, Kartik. Uh, thanks for having me uh, here today to uh, introduce Monitron uh, together with you. And uh, I'm Magnus Akison again. Uh, I am the IT leader for uh, GE Gas Power's manufacturing division. Uh, and here at uh, GE, we uh, engineer cleaner, more accessible energy that people depend on, powering growth and prosperity everywhere. So we design, uh, manufacture, and service uh, power plant equipment around the world, including uh, industry-leading uh, gas turbines, uh, steam turbines, generators, control systems, and many other types of components that go into uh, making a power plant. We also have the world's, world's largest installed base with over 7,000 gas turbines around the world. And uh, we maintain uh, <clears throat> these turbines in our repair facilities uh, also that are all around the world. Um, one of those manufacturing facilities is in uh, beautiful uh, Bangor, Maine. And what we do uh, in Bangor among other things, is uh, manufacture and repair uh, things like airfoils and diaphragms, which are all different types of components uh, that go into a steam turbine. Uh, and once we are done with machining an airfoil, uh, we take a piece of bar stock and we machine it down uh, to an airfoil shape. The next step in the process is to polish the surface of the airfoil, airfoil to a very precise surface tolerance. That's very important. Uh, for the performance of the turbine. If you do not have the right airflow and the right um, aerodynamic performance uh, uh, in a turbine or in the blade, the turbine will not uh, perform to its specifications. So it's very important that we polish these blades. Uh, and you do so in uh, this thing uh, known as a tumbler. And so what we have uh, are these tumblers uh, that are essentially, you can think of them uh, as uh, like a big bucket in which you put the airfoil together with a, some sort of media, like a sort of a very sort of gritty uh, pellets and, or things like that. And you either spin or vibrate essentially this big bucket uh, with this media in it at a very, very high frequency which is then what will polish these blades, again, blades again to this ultra-fine tolerance uh, that we need. Now, that's a very uh, sort of harsh environment. Uh, there are gearboxes, there's shafts, there are bearings, and it's, you know, a lot of wear and tear. And so, given the environment, uh, these tumblers tend to be uh, very, very failure-prone. And anytime anything fails, uh, you know, it impacts tact, it impacts delivery schedules. Uh, sometimes it can be a, a pretty big uh, safety hazard. And also these tumblers, you know, like many, many machines uh, that we have in our network are old. Uh, they're from the 70s or the 60s. There's no control systems. They're not connected. There's no sensors embedded in a tumbler. And so this idea of connecting a sensor to a tumbler is very often, we're in, in this case, a lot easier said than done. And so, you know, in a normal world, what we would have done, uh, you know, without a, a service like, like Monitron, we would have, you know, had to retrofit these tumblers with sensors. Uh, we would have to find an embedded hardware engineer to write code on the microcontroller. We would have connected it to uh, AWS uh, IoT core and start building visualizations and then find a data scientist to to uh, maybe build some models for us. And that could have uh, obviously been an option. But instead, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Monitron, we essentially skipped all those steps and started monitoring these tumblers in actually less than 10 minutes, which is insane if you think about it. What we were able to do 
is we got these sensors in the mail. Uh, you glue them on uh, and then you connect them. You pair them with your gateway uh, and you launch an app. And lo and behold, uh, without uh, any kind of extra effort than that, uh, we were actually connected. And what's really awesome is that you don't need to be an IT person who understand, again, microcontrollers and sensors and models and you know, OT and IT networks, uh, any of that stuff. Uh, it, this is something that could be done by anybody. It's as easy as setting up your iPhone. We've all done that. It's very simple. This is no different. Uh, and again, uh, it does not require any specialized skills. Now, of course, with all of that also comes the benefit of not just getting connected quickly, uh, getting data visualized, uh, you know, real time on a moment's notice, but now also we have access to some incredible uh, algorithms and monitoring tools that allows us to be more predictive and more proactive about how we actually manage uh, these tumblers, which you know, was something we couldn't really even have imagined in the past, given the uh, low level of technology that these tumblers uh, had in the past. And now, this is what we really like about monitoring. Uh, you know, the tumblers were, were just sort of our, our pilot, uh, our way, you know, the way for us to get to know the service. And again, you know, being amazed by how quickly you get to the point of producing outcomes. You know, you don't have to launch this big IT project, get everything connected, like I mentioned earlier, you just connect it and off you go. And if you think about a company like GE, where we have, you know, 35 factories or so around the world, we have a, uh, an incredibly diverse machine park with, yes, we have some very advanced uh, machines, advanced PLCs that do a lot of talking, if you will. Uh, but the vast majority of machine park is in a similar situation like, <clears throat> like these tumblers. So, you know, having this ability to um, mon connect and monitor our assets at scale for low effort is, is really a game changer. First of all, it's, it's inexpensive. And it's not just the equipment, the cost of the sensors, it's also the labor cost that's involved in connecting all these devices and building all these visualizations and building all these models. No, now we no longer have to do that. Um, also just the maintainability and supportability uh, of these sensors. So uh, I remember uh, in our pilot, uh, we had to uh, change the sampling rate uh, for some of these sensors. And rather than going out on the shop floor and grabbing a sensor and hooking up to a PC and rewriting some firmware and publishing it uh, and then putting it back on the shop floor, uh, we actually just uh, changed the sampling rate on the code in the cloud and pushed it over the air to the microcontroller and it took seconds. And again, the cost of doing so, the supportability when you do this at, do this at scale, is a complete game changer for us. And I mentioned simple. Uh, you know, anybody can learn how to do this. You don't have to be an IT expert or OT expert or a data scientist or front-end uh, web developer. You don't have to do any, learn any of those things. You connect and you go and it's amazing. And of course, along with this, you know, comes our predictive maintenance uh, capabilities. So it's not just about understanding threshold, thresholds and learning when something is vibrating uh, over a certain threshold or temperature is exceeding a certain uh, range that is not healthy. It's also about looking forward, looking into the future, understanding anomalies, the power of machine learning models that come with uh, monitoring. And that you know, comes out of the box too. And uh, to me, that's just the bonus, if you will, of taking our uh, predictive maintenance journey even farther ahead. And like I said, um, it saves a lot of money. Again, the labor cost, the hardware cost of the traditional approach uh, prevents us from doing this at scale across 35 factors around the world. With something this simple, uh, it's gonna be a game changer, in, again, in terms of our ability to do this uh, across our network uh, quickly. So with that, um, thank you Kartik again uh, for having me and for uh, helping you tell the story. And uh, now back over to you. Thanks, Magnus. Multiple other customers are using Amazon Monitron and are excited about the potential to enable predictive maintenance and, and reduce unplanned outtime. Fender, an iconic guitar brand, can make their guitars more efficiently with Amazon Monitron. 
There are thousands of small manufacturers and processors out there in the world. Fender believes that Monitron is built not just for the scale of large enterprises, but also for the simplicity and cost effectiveness of small manufacturers and processors. RS Components plans to add Monitron to its monitoring portfolio. RS Component is a leading uh, player in the industrial components and predictive maintenance space. They, may, they, they work with a variety of small and large manufacturers and maintain uh, machines on their, on their behalf. They have over half a million products in their portfolio. Uh, this is the first time that they will have a, a full, uh, an end-to-end -end wireless vibration and temperature conditioning monitor, condition monitoring product in their portfolio. RS is excited to partner with AWS to bring to their customer a cost-effective, easy to use, and a continuously improving condition monitoring system and enable predictive maintenance for them. G Digital is looking to use Monitron to help customers improve uptime. Many of G Digital customers today only monitor certain select critical equipment. This is because of the cost and complexity of using the existing solutions out there. G with Monitron, G Digital is excited uh, with, its, with its machine learning capabilities to bring to their customers an easy to use product and enable predictive maintenance and monitoring for a wider set of equipment. We, use, we also use Monitron to monitor conveyor systems in our fulfillment warehouses. Let us look at how we do that. The volume plan for this building is really close tied to the max machine capacity we can run through through the systems. So meaning uh, every downtime of uh, at least a half an hour or 50 minutes will cause a lot of packages which are somehow uh, piling up somewhere in the building. So Amazon uh, Monotron, we will be used uh, mainly on the, on the conveyance. We have 26 kilometers of conveyance in this building and that's got um, to be running uh, at all time in every corner of the, of the building. At the moment, around 1,000 of these senders are just located all over the, the conveyance system in, in our building. And the first couple of days, it's learning. So it's learning uh, how the system is running, what is the normal temperature of, the, of, of a motor, what is the normal vibration of it. And every deviation is uh, directly alerted by our warehouse management system to our ME technicians. And um, they can just uh, go there and have a look. We have an indicator and sensor give us the signal we have an um, defect motor, um, so we saw the temperature was very high. Um, the team uh, made the decision to exchange the motor before we have an outage. And we can work together with operations that we set up the maintenance window uh, in the right time uh, and to make sure that we have no impact on the customer. Next what? Like these customers, you can also get started with Amazon Monitron. And it's pretty easy. You can start by purchasing sensors and gateways on amazon.com. If you want to buy these devices in bulk or want to use a purchase order instead of credit card, you can also use your Amazon business account to buy these devices. These sensors and gateways are available for purchase in the US, UK, and EU countries. We also offer a starter kit, which includes five sensors and a gateway, so that you can get started in an easy and cost-effective way. The price of the starter kit is $715. You can, you, can, you can learn more about these devices at this link. Once you uh, purchase these devices and receive them, you can configure and install them. As we saw in the demo, this, the steps are quick and easy. And in a matter of few minutes, you can install these devices and start monitoring your equipment. Once you install the devices, Monitron automatically starts monitoring your equipment. It sends you an alert when it detects abnormal conditions in your machine. Technicians can investigate the issue based on these alerts and, and take any actions to fix them. They can come back to the app and add feedback so that they can benefit from continuously improving uh, performance of future alerts. Monitron service is, is, is uh, pay as you go and you, you're charged $1.50 per sensor per year. You can learn more about Amazon Monitron at this link. Thank you.